Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get or set the value of input fields inside of a form, okay? So first of all, let me just refresh this browser. So let's see what name has been given to this form element because we're trying to, we're going to try to get or set its value. So it has an ID of first name and the second one also has an ID of last name, all right? So we'll go to our console and say, okay, var first name equals to select like this so we'll just use the id first name because it's the only one which has that id so let's just echo out um, first name and see what's in it so it's this element here so how do we set its value programmatically we can do this and say um ellen right so now how do we get this value ellen here inside of our script we can say var name equal to so since we have first name inside the first name variable, we can say first name dot val. So it's not value, it's just val. That's what jQuery uses. And now when we type out name, we should get ln there. Okay. So now how do we set the value programmatically? That's very simple. We can just say first name dot val. Now val, when you don't call it, um, when you don't pass it any value, it just returns the value in there. But when you pass it a value, it sets it there. Okay. So let's say Angelina and press enter. As you can see, this value here has changed to Angelina. Now when we say first name um, dot val, try to get the value back is Angelina now. Okay. So um, that's how you get and set for input um, elements. So next, let's see how we can um, get the selected value for this um, select button here or select drop down. So let's just see how we can select that or get to the element so it has an id of country so let's just see how we can do that so var country equals to we use jquery select um, function here so let's just say country press enter so now let's just um say country dot val so remember that this first one has been selected great britain so now let's press enter we should see um gb there because that's what um is in the value of great britain gb all right so next let's see how we can select um one of these and see what values there so let's just inspect those elements as well so the first one has a value of um male and the second one has a value of female i forgot to put the label tiles there but just bear with me by looking at the console here so um how do we select that they have um a name of um, gender so we're going to use the name to select so we'll say dollar sign um, let's just say var genders equal to dollar sign um, we use the pseudo selector input that will select every input on the page but we'll just narrow it down to where in the name equals to gender and um, yeah that's it so now let's just type out gender now as you can see we have the first and the second one so Next, how do we get the one that is checked? So we'll say var checked equals to gender dot filter and we'll just pass in checked here. Pseudo checked. Press enter. Now when I say ch when I check the check for variable, we should get only get the first one. So now you can just say um, check dot value. So we'll just say val press enter as you can see we have mail here okay so that's how you use um the jquery val function to get values of um input elements or fields inside of a form i thank you for watching i will see you soon in next video cheers bye bye